so that's good. Um, and uh, all right, so turn it over to Greg. All right. So um, before we before I do this, I wanted to um, tell you guys uh, that next Thursday at, from seven to nine, if you're interested in being a part of a focus group, and you're eighteen to thirty, and you live in this area, that I, I need to talk to you. Uh, it's a young adults building community, and uh, it's an effort here in Gulfton to uh, impact the community. And there's a group coming in here next week that wants to talk to you if you fit, if you're in that age group to get your ideas. And they'll feed you, and then you get some other stuff. But um, I've got some of you already signed up. But I want, if you're in that, come talk to me. So 18 to 30, and they consider this area Sharpstown or Gulfton. So if you live in this immediate area, Sharpstown and Gulfton, uh, you know you know what that. If you live here, you know what that is. Uh, then you then that that's who it's, the city of Houston is involved in this. Yeah, city of Houston, and and then if there's any if, if there's any women, I, I need uh, I need at least a couple women, and uh, if you if you live in this area to do that. So okay, so. Um, Tonight, I was thinking about, um, yesterday, last night, was the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King's assassination. And so, I don't know if you've seen that in social media or on the news or something, but uh, the 50th anniversary where um, uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis. Uh, Martin Luther King had this huge impact on civil rights in, in our country. and. Um, um, a lot of history there, which we don't have time to go into. But I thought, in in light of that, in memory of that, um, I wanted to show this brief video of his uh, who he was, and it's part of his "I Have a Dream" speech. And uh, wanted to kind of replay that. Some of you have seen this. Some of you may have not seen it. If you have, if you've already seen it, it's, it's a good reminder that uh, of what his dream was what um where our world is now he did this in 1963 um and that some of this of this dream has not occurred uh but it doesn't limit the effect of the dream itself and that even though we see things happening that are not part of that dream that dream still remains and uh i think it's a good reminder for us about what it means to be what he called um, the beloved community and uh so i think of our group that way is beloved community and uh, so anyway I want to play, play this for you tonight as we uh, lost my signal here hold on so you might want if you can't see then you might want to come in a little bit closer so even though we face the difficulties of the day and tomorrow I still have a dream it is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. One day, down in Alabama, with its vicious racist, with its governor having 
his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day with all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the crevacial slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Five years later, five years after that, five years after that speech, uh, he was <clears throat> shot at the Lorraine Motel by an assassin's bullet. And um, so, I think about what it means to um, continue this dream, right? And um, so we have, I think of our community as a as a dream catcher. We, each of you are dream catchers, but we also are these dream builders. And in the face of the things that we look at in our culture today, people get shot, and the injustices that we continue to see, it's, it's people like you and me and this community that comes together to show that something different can happen. And um, so we get to be a part of this dream by just simply gathering here, building friendships with each other, and being, um, being a light to uh, this community and to the world of what it might look like to be a beloved community that God dreams of. Uh, and you guys are part of that. And uh, anyway, so that's it for tonight. And uh, be inspired by this man um, and continue that. So, okay. That's <laughs>